Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and I am so excited today. We've got a 1973 Challenger in. This Challenger is done in the sublime green. It is absolutely a fantastic color. The car is completely show quality top to bottom. It has white interior in it. It has a 340 727 torque flight, eight and three quarter inch rear end. It currently has some weld racing wheels on it. I just ordered a set of Magnums uh, that we are going to put on the car. So it'll either be available with these welds, I can make a little better deal with the welds, uh, be a little closer to asking price with the Magnum 500s on it. Underneath the car is really nice and solid. I've been driving the car quite a bit. The car drives fantastic and it sounds really good. When we get it down and we'll do a walk around video, show the interior, it's got white interior, um, has the tack and the dash. Uh, really, really a super nice straight clean piece. Uh, as we go underneath the car, uh, the car has been completely restored and it does have disc brakes on the front. It has porcelain coated headers on the car. Uh, as, we, as we move in up underneath the car, you'll see that uh, really nice and dry piece. Doesn't have a bunch of leaks all over underneath it. Uh, the K member up here in the front is really nice and solid. Still has the numbers stamped in it. When we move over here to the... Um, Yes, these aren't A-arms on a Dodge, but uh, underneath here you can see that the everything under here is new, or as in as new shape. Uh, the uh, grease seals are nice and dry, does have disc brakes on it. As we move back, you'll see that all of the uh, drag links and tie rods are all in great shape. The porcelain coated headers are really pretty. You got a couple little scratches up underneath here, but that's nothing to worry about. Uh, it does have full three inch exhaust all the way down past the mufflers. Uh, the subframes underneath the car are really super nice and solid and appear to be original. This is a really nice solid original car. Um, the cross member in here is also in great shape. Uh, the pans have no patches. Well actually this side over here has got a patch. This one here has been cut out and has a uh, new piece of, of steel welded in here. But uh, this pan over here is completely original. Uh, the pinch welds on the car are in really nice shape. Uh, the back pans are in really good shape. All of the lines are not showing any rust. The exhaust appears to be fairly fresh and new. Uh, this rear pan over here is in also in great shape. If you notice where the uh, subframes come back, uh, there's no rust in any of the corners, any of the parts. There are plugs right here that still appear to be all original to the undercarriage of the car. Um, as we move back, it does have an eight and three quarter inch rear end. Uh, it does have three inch exhaust up until the back of the mufflers and then from the back of the mufflers forward is uh, uh, to only two and a half. They probably couldn't get that three inch up over the top. It does have really nice uh, exhaust tips on the back back here. You can see how nice they are. The chrome back here is in also in great shape. The gas tank and the straps are, are beautiful in the car. Uh, the car does have 10 inch wide wheels on the back of it and we are going to replace these wheels with 10 inch wide Magnum 500 with the correct Chrysler center caps. So one more time we'll take you here a nice little slow uh, pan up underneath this car. What a beautiful piece under here. Uh, great driving. I'm really blown away with just how wonderful that this car does drive. The 340 automatic uh, posi rear end. I guess they call them true track in the in the uh, Chryslers. Uh, very nice running. Beautiful white interior. Uh, factory tack. Not factory tack. I don't know if it's factory or not. Um, but it's a Got a tack in the dash, beautiful console, really nice running, great looking car. Somebody would be glad to have this in their, their garage. So please give us a call, Passing Lane Motors, 636-611-40. We're in Fenton, Missouri. One more time, that's Daryl with Passing Lane Motors, 636-611-40, 1973 Dodge Challenger. It's got a 340 in it, really well built 340. Uh, great, great looking underneath uh, great beautiful show quality paint all around the car please give us a call 636 611 40 thanks so much for looking and have a great day bye now